quite a performance this morning. You never get tired of trying to ridicule the administration of this hospital, do you? Which is difficult to understand, considering someone with your record. My record? What record are you talking about? Oh, you've managed to amass quite a list of accomplishments in the five years I've been here. Forgery of unauthorized requisitions. <laughs> I thought it'd be good to start using anesthesia during operations, don't you? Ineligible patients treated with unauthorized procedures against express orders to the contrary. Defying administrative directives and staff bulletins. Oh, defying staff bulletins. Now we're getting serious, huh? You don't know how serious. Any one of these charges could finish you in medicine. If you could prove them. Why do you refuse to accept reality? I have directives to follow. Yeah, and you not only follow them, you go them one better, don't you? I operate this hospital in the best interest of our patients, not some hotshot doctor with an ego problem. This hospital operates with only one interest, your own. Personally, I think you're a disgrace to the profession of medicine and a detriment to the running of this hospital. And if the regulations hadn't been made to protect fools and incompetence like you, I'd have fired you long ago. You know, I want you to know what an inspiration you are. You'll never know how many times I said to myself, quit, go into private practice, I don't need this shit. But you always change my mind. See, you're not just another bureaucrat using these poor bastards to wriggle your little ass up the ladder. You're a whole new species. See, you actually think you're doing a service for this country every time you refuse one of these guys an operation. Now, you think the priorities are, are cutting the budget and trimming costs instead of easing the suffering and the anxiety of the people that this place was built for. You know what the most amazing thing is? You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs>